Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Welcome to another of my classic Chuck Norris reviews. Today I'm taking a look at Delta Force, the 1986 Chuck Norris action film. It is directed by Menahem Golem and it of course stars Chuck Norris. We have Lee Marvin, uh, Martin Balsam, Joey Bishop, Robert Forster, Lady Kazan, George Kennedy, Bo Svensson, Robert Vaughan, and Shelley Winters. Pretty good cast, really, with this being a canon film and all that. Now, the film focuses on um, the Delta Force, which is like a, an elite um, American force that is sent to certain areas of the world um, to resolve situations, hijackings, you name it. Uh, Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin lead this Delta Force team. And they are brought on board because of a plane hijacking. Um, there is a plane hijacking that is forced to land um, in Israel, I believe. And um, the hijackers taking hostages, um, imprisoning them. And it is up to Chuck Norris and the Delta Force team to sort out the situation. Right, what are my thoughts on the Delta Force? Well... I thought I'd seen this one, but in actual fact, I'm fairly sure it's Delta Force 2 that I have seen. I used to watch that one an awful lot when I was a child, the Delta Force 2 one, and that's the one with the drug cartel, I believe, isn't it? Um, so I don't actually think that I have seen Delta Force until I've just recently watched it for this review. But I have to say, I was incredibly impressed with this film in a lot of ways. Um, even though it was a canon film, it, it felt fairly big budgeted with a, an impressive cast. You know, with people like George Kennedy and Robert, Robert Vaughan and Shelley Winters and Robert Forster and, you know, Lee Marvin, obviously, and obviously then Chuck Norris. I mean, it, it pretty star-studded affair, really. And in a lot of ways, this film had more in common with Executive Decision, you know, the, Chuck, uh, the Kurt Russell, Steven Seagal film that came out in the 90s than anything else. I mean, it's almost like a film of two halves, this. And in the first half of the film, it focuses very heavily on this plane hijacking. We get to know the passengers, um, the pilots, um, and the hijackers. And so you you kind of invested in the situation that they find themselves in. Um, and then... Um, the second half of the film kind of focuses on the Delta Force then and how are they going to deal with the situation because they've got like three missions they have to pull off. You know, they've got to, they've got to get them from the plane, they've got to get the prisoners out of the cells and all this kind of stuff. So they've got to kind of plan all this mission uh, and, you know, and pull it off with um, the least amount of deaths possible sort of thing. So it's it's a really, actually really nicely put together and constructed film i'm not gonna lie um like, like I, said, I didn't expect it to be as well made as it was this film um i genuinely didn't and i was really really invested with um these this passing these passengers story um and i thought it was pretty compelling stuff actually on the plane the stuff that a lot of these um like prisoners and hostages on the plane, um, what they were put through. Um, so I was really, really on board for that. Um, and then it kind of got to the point where I'm thinking, well, Chuck Norris is barely in this. And then it focuses heavily on, okay, we know their situation. We know what they've been through. How are they going to get rescued? Enter the Delta Force sort of thing. I think some of the dialogue early on was a little bit cheesy here and there but you've got to remember this is a 1986 film you know what i mean this is this is not you know gonna win an oscar for the best screenplay or anything like that um but i think what really helped as well this film was like say the named actors in the film really took the material seriously and you really bought into them and the film wasn't scared either to be quite political in regards to you know the politics in the middle east uh, Israel and all this kind of stuff and um, the Jews and it, uh, the whole thing that the, the film just didn't shy away from any of that and it really really um, does actually make you think and you don't expect that when you're watching like a, a you know a fairly what you would expect to be run-of-the-mill Chuck Norris action film um, so I, I really appreciated the fact the fact that it 
did that, the film, and it really got me invested, and it didn't um, pretend to be something else sort of thing. It, it, you know, it felt like a real-life situation in a lot of ways, and in, in actual fact, my understanding is that it was supposedly based on a real-life hijacking in the early 80s or something like that. Um, so, yeah, the, Chuck Norris and the rest of the team kind of take a back seat in the first part of the film. It's, it, like I say, you get that part, and then you get the Delta Force kicking ass in the second part. And yeah, you get some over-the-top stuff. You get bikes that have got, like, rocket launchers on them and all this kind of stuff. And you get shootouts going through the streets of Israel. And um, and it felt very authentic, and I believe the whole thing was shot in Israel. You know, the bad guys get what's coming to them, thanks to Chuck Norris and all that kind of stuff. You get rocket launchers and bazookas firing off left, right, and center in the second part of the film. Um, so it really, really does deliver. It delivers as like... Uh, like a thriller in the first half you know what I mean and then the second half it's full on Chuck Norris action and it was very very enjoyable um, Lee Marvin as well I thought was pretty good he's he um, like plays like the commander sort of thing the uh, of this Delta Force and unfortunately as well this was I believe his final film because he died the following year this came out in 86 and he died in 87 uh, and my understanding is as well he was he was quite poorly while he was making this um and interestingly as well charles bronson initially was going to be in this film with chuck norris and he was going to take the lee marvin role because there were some publicity shots early on with him on the poster with chuck norris i don't really know what happened why charles bronson stepped away uh, and lee marvin took the role but the film is no lesser for it with Lee Marvin. He was a very, very good and veteran actor and he plays his part well. But make no mistake, this is definitely a Chuck Norris film. Um, it's just, you know, a very well-made canon film, if I'm honest. And, the, you know, you, you expect a certain kind of quality with canon and sometimes they do punch a little bit above their weight. Um, but this one, I think, was very entertaining. It certainly delivered for me. I was, I, I had a great time watching it, and it's certainly one of my favourite Chuck Norris films that I have watched to do this um, sequence of Chuck Norris reviews. So, yeah, guys, give me some more recommendations, because I put this one up on, on um, a poll on YouTube, and you guys pretty much overwhelmingly chose the Delta Force as the next review. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Give me some more recommendations for Chuck Norris. I'm going to try and get through as many as I can, as well as Van Damme and some more, maybe some more Seagulls and Dolph Lundgrens and all that kind of stuff. You guys to give me some recommendations for these fantastic 80s action films and we shall keep this train rolling. Thanks very much for watching, guys.